So now it's time to show you how to do the ultimate new lip. So the first thing you want to do is lip pencil. Lip pencil is going to be one of your best friends because this is sort of like tracing out where we want to go to. I would pick a color that is about two tones deeper than your skin tone. And sometimes it helps to make it a little bit warmer too. Now, lip liner can be magic. If you have smaller lips, you can make your lips look larger. If you have bigger lips, you can go inside of the line and make them look smaller. So lip liner is your friend. I always start off by defining my cupid's bow. I feel like the cupid's bow is like where it all begins. For me, it helps to kind of tighten my lip like this. Huh? So it's nice and flat and go on and create your first C shape. So I always go a little bit above my natural cupid's bow because I'm all about the fullness. Again, if you have bigger lips and you want them to appear smaller, go inside of your natural lip line. Other side. So I just kind of taper it off to the sides and I don't even go all the way down. So see how that gives you that natural definition without overlining. Now I'm gonna go in with a nude lipstick. This is a matte lipstick, so this is gonna stay intact all day long. And the tone I tend to go for is my skin tone, but way more peachy and colorful. Make sure you take it all the way into the corners of your lips. I do a little me. That's how you reach that corner, baby. So for the top lip, you do a smile. Now, once you reach that corner, you go, oh, go in that corner. It's all about creating tension on that lip so it's nice and tight and flat so that the product goes on without any wrinkles. So now it's time for gloss. And you might ask yourself, hey, why would you do lipstick first and then gloss? Why not just gloss only? Putting your lipstick before lip gloss will make it last all day long. So the gloss, there's a trick to a gloss. If you want your lips to appear a little bit fuller, apply the gloss a little bit over that cupid's bow. So the same thing we did with the pencil, you wanna do the same with the gloss. So right here on that line where you drew the pencil, see, shine is wet and wetness reflects the light. So it's gonna appear fuller. You definitely don't need a lot of gloss if you just have that top right there nice and shiny. A little bit right here on the center of the bottom lip to catch the light and reflect. Boom. Well, if that isn't an ultimate nude lip, I don't know what is.